it's your girl Joy back with another Basil finger, finger. Child, it is Vlogmas day seven. I don't know what the future holds for me for the rest of the day. It's early in the morning and I woke up with bags under my eyes. I don't know why they were just there. They wanted to come out for a visit. And I slept okay, still woke up. My alarm woke me up at four, but child, I am just so thankful that it's Friday. So you'll be getting this on Saturday. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys are enjoying the daily vlogs. They are a lot of work, a huge commitment. But when I know people are watching them, you know, it makes me feel good. So when some of the views are low, I'm telling y'all, if it's not drama, the views are low. Not that I have a lot of views, but I, I know there's a difference. So, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I got to give you what I can give you. I, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, okay? Can I just be in a good mood and you love me for my good mood? Does it always have to be a sad mood or I'm pissed off for somebody or something or someone? You get what you get. But I haven't had an angry whopper in a long time. Ooh. I do have some things I could complain about. We'll see about that. Just hold on. Hold that thought. But anyway, it is early in the morning. I got, um, I don't have a first period, but I'm working on a new sign in the classroom. Working on truism. So I'm working on this one. I just started um, sketching this out. So, and I got to do a little stuff. And so kids wrote um, a lot of their truisms. Um, on pieces of paper, but I'm not sure I'll have time to finish it today. I might because I think I'm gonna get my kids a little quiz or something because I have to have a grade to put in a grade book this week. I need to have two, so so it'll be a lot of grading this um, weekend because I have to have my grades in before I think by next week, and there's a certain amount of grades, so I need to get that done. So I have a little little quiz that they could be doing today. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, and then some kids are like, oh, what can I do for extra credit? How about you do the stuff that was given to you the first time instead of sitting in class talking all the time? So I can't help you. When I know you've been talking, I can't help you. Sorry, point blank, period. D do what you're supposed to do. You here to get your education, not here to socialize. Maybe a little bit, but not in class. Save it for lunch or pre pre uh, uh, PE. How about that? Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. This is how I was feeling. So, don't give me no shade now. So this is my little outfit today. <laughs> I tied the shirt. Um, and my little blazer. This is a blue, this is a blue pinstripe blazer. Um, little t-shirt, I kind of probably wore a white t-shirt, but I didn't feel like it. And my little sneakers. I don't know if I want the pants over the lip or under the lip. I don't know. This is how I was feeling today. <laughs> so, I, I still plan to give you guys a tour of my mini mini closet um, maybe I'll do it this weekend it's, I have a tiny closet I mean tiny tiny but um, I love blazers I think I probably have about 15 of them and I need some brighter colors some funkier blazers but like I said I've never been on a shopping spree so I just pick up blazers here and there sometimes I thrift shop when I go to a thrift shop I go to the men's section and um, look for blazers. I just I love. I just love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. <laughs> and so one of the managers here, she was like, "I am Joy Basil today. I am Joy Basil." She was like, "Yes, I got my blazer, and my jeans, and my T-shirt, and my sneakers." She was like, "I thought about wearing my chucks, but that would have been too much Joy Basil. Too much Joy Basil." So I had to wear my leopard print Michael Kors sneakers. I don't know. <laughs> She was so cute. She's like, but I am Joy Basil. So I didn't know that I had a style. So I guess I do wear kind of the slacks and the blazers and the t-shirt pretty much on a regular basis. That's my, I guess, <laughs> I cornered the market for that at this school, I guess. And then once in a blue moon, I'll throw on a little skirt. It's, they're really, really long. Once in a blue moon, I don't, I don't throw those on very often. But I feel comfortable, you know, 
you know, my little B-girl, little, you know, my little tomboy little look. That's where I feel the most comfortable. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I think a student is knocking at my door. I bet you it's my one who's my, like, my shadow. Hold on a second. Oh, hold on. No, it's a different one. What's he here for? Let's see what he's praying for tutorials. Let's see. All right. No, that was another student. He wanted um, he wanted to know what he had to do to raise his grade. Another talkative one. But my class is, honestly, my class is very, very easy to pass. All you have to do is do the work. And I checked his stuff. He had a couple of Zs, a couple of zeros because you didn't do the work. I didn't even get it. And if there's no name on a paper, it goes right in the trash because I'm, I can't be figuring out whose who's paper is this, whose paper is this to 170 students? I don't think so. So it goes in the trash. I was like, if you did do it, it went in the trash. And he's like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I said, you do these two things, it'll pull you to passing. You just got to do them. And he's, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean, they're so cute. They just, they just, you know, the kids, they just know it all, you know. I would use my Sharpies, but my Sharpies are drying out. I don't have any more Sharpies. I borrowed all the Sharpies I can. Um, since I don't work at a true Title I school, they don't give us supplies here. So teachers are responsible for all the supplies or you begging parents. So when I really ask you for help, they don't they don't provide us with, with anything here. Now there's paper. We don't have to buy paper to make copies and stuff, but like pencils and crayons and all those kinds of things. Um, uh, Kleenex and hand sanitizer. No ma'am. Teachers got to pay for all that stuff. So, all right. Let me just do a little bit of this. And, and it's very relaxing for me. So I can't believe it's Friday. I made it to Friday. It seems like this week went by so fast. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. I really don't. Probably vlogging, cleaning. I need to get in my garage. Is what I need to do is terrible and I'm trying to purge. So I have a full year to purge all that stuff in my garage. We'll see. Well, I decided to come back. Of course, you know, it's lunchtime. I don't know. I think I'm down to 26 minutes now. <laughs> So just real quick, a truism is a statement and I started them off with a picture. A truism is a statement that's obviously true and you there's a life lesson there. Like if there was a picture of a roller coaster, um, I would come up with um, life has ups and downs because the roller coaster goes up and down. So you don't describe anything in the picture but you use the picture to create a life lesson for it. So I don't know what this one, Oh, the one that they wrote these for, it was Rocky Balboa. It was just a picture of Rocky and his hands were up like that. So what life lesson, what is a true statement um, that you can create from that? And this is um, one, don't give up even when you have nothing left, stay strong. That was good. Fight through the pain. So those are truisms. Weakness and pain don't always mean failure. It just means you have more of a reason to try again. Child, done. Tell me that's not good. Sometimes you have to keep going no matter what. And so all of these amazing quotes, and I need to print out the little picture so people know what the truism is <laughs> to go with the picture having perseverance is all you need to succeed tell me tell me this is this seventh grade boo these are my um my pre-ap students and so i started them off yesterday they didn't quite know it then i modeled the first one and they took off from there but you always got to model so the kids know you know what to do pain will hit you but you always have to fight back and that's a true statement, right? You should, you should fight back. We don't always fight back. Sometimes we give up, but you should. Um, when you're down, never give up. And this is all from just watching a visual image 
of Rocky and his hands up like that. And these are the things that these sweet babies came up. The fight is not over until it's over. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, but you always should try your hardest. That is a true statement, right? Do we always do that? No, but we should. No matter how bad life hits you, always get back up and fight again. Mm-hmm. Fight for what you need. When life gives you lemons, punch them until you make lemonade. <laughs> Those fights that bring you down may bring you up and you become even stronger. From the mouths of babes, my little basil babes, my little babies, they picked up on truisms just like that and wrote these amazing, amazing quotes just from looking at a picture. And so, um, they're, they're just so amazing. Look, we can create a book of truisms just from, from the mouths of these little babes. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Oh, this one is cute. She, she was very creative with this one. Don't be looking at my nails, y'all. I know, it's time. I'll get there. So, these little stickers or these little things will go on the little anchor chart that I designed. But I was just impressed with the little girls. It was four girls who colored it in and I showed them, you know, how to do the shading and stuff. And they did a phenomenal job. They wanted a, um, a Sharpie. I was like, uh-uh, you ain't touching my stuff with no Sharpie, okay? You better use this black pencil. <laughs> Don't touch the Sharpie. Stay away from the Sharpie. So I was just so proud of them. I just wanted to brag on them a little bit. So I know, I know you guys probably get tired of the teacher stuff and I do have a teacher channel, but I have more support on this channel. So I have to really figure out how I can start to do more stuff on my teacher channel, but um, I won't vlog with the kids in the classroom. I won't do that. Um, I kind of got in trouble for that. So I won't be doing it again. They kind of wanted me to do it again, but I was already in my feelings. So uh, not going there, not going there. So anyway, let me just stay out of trouble altogether, not do it. So I'm going to heat up my lunch. How much time do I have? I'm always putting my cell phone down y'all. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh God, I only have 17 minutes. Let me go heat up this leftover Thanksgiving dinner. I am kind of hungry and go to the bathroom. So I got to put that in the microwave, then run to the bathroom, run back, and then I'll have about 10 minutes to eat. Oh Lord, Lord, Lord. <sighs> All right, I got to go y'all, but it is Friday. I am excited. You guys are going to get this on a Saturday because I'm trying to keep up with vlogmas. This is just such a blessing. Yes, this is a blessing that I have amazing kids with amazing minds that could come up with this stuff. That is a gift. That is a gift. And it was a gift that I was able to pull it out of them and model for them and that they picked up on it right away. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So with that said, oh Lord, oh no, 16 minutes. Let me get out of here. Let me show you the one that they have to come up with the truism for today. This is a, the image. Can you guys come up with the truism for this image right here? Leave it in the description box below. If these seventh graders can do it, what can you do? It is a statement, like one sentence that is true, that can be applied across the board no matter where you are, and it teaches you a life lesson. So what do you see in this image that can teach a lesson? It's called a theme, the theme. What is the overall message? But you cannot describe, oh, maybe someone is in jail and they're locked behind the bars. No, you're trying to describe what's going on in an image. And um, there have been some good ones. I kind of gave you what the kids wrote, but what are you gonna come up with? Let's play this game, you guys. What is a truism, a statement, a true statement that is obviously true, but you're not describing what's in the picture, leave it in the description box below. Come on, if seventh graders can do it, you can do this. Let's do this. Do it, do it, do it, yeah. <laughs>